Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some home decor DIYs I'm excited about right now. Spring is finally here. I hope you're excited. Let's get into it. Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'll tell you guys a little bit about them in a few, but let's get started on our first DIY. I have always wanted to make a wreath for my front door, but it's one of those things I just never got around to doing. But I was taking out all my florals to decorate for spring, and there's a bunch of them here that for whatever reason, I don't use them anymore. So I figured I'll repurpose them and try to make a wreath out of it and see how it turns out. These here, I'm not sure where I got them, but they're a mix of of green and a sort of a lilac color. I have these here. I'm not sure what they originally looked like, but obviously I took them apart for whatever I used them for in the past. So they're these little spriggy things, which is great because I figured being small like this, it would be easy to put it in. I'm not sure what I'm gonna end up using with any of these, but I'm just showing you all that I have and what I picked up at Michael's just a few days ago. These are like some wildflower grass-like sprigs. I have four of them. I'm going for this kind of a look, like a wildflower kind of a look, not too structured. I went to Michael's to get some greenery because I figured to fill this out, I do need to have some greenery. Oh, this came out already, wow. This is part of this. I like these because they're very similar to these, so I figured I can incorporate this into there. It does have some additional greenery and these little florals. This was $10, but they are 50% off, so $5 a piece, and it's really nice and full, so those I definitely will use. I also picked this up at Michael's. Originally, I was gonna be using this because I have quite a bit of these from projects I did over the holidays, and I didn't use them, so I had these. I mean, I love the size of it, but I wasn't excited about this because I figured this is gonna take a lot to fill it out. So I went back to Michael's and I got this. I was hoping to find something bigger. This is a little bit smaller than I would want, but it's the first time I'm making a wreath. So I figured, let me just start with what I can and see how this turns out. And maybe I'll make another one. I also got some beautiful greenery. This is perfect, not just for what I'm about to do here, but three of these. Look at how nice that looks. I think this will be great in a little, um, vase just some greenery somewhere about your house if you're familiar with the real touch norfolk pine garlands and stems that everybody has been using the last couple of years for the holidays that has a very real touch to it very soft these feel similar to that they're great quality very realistic looking the green is exactly what these ferns do look like i'm probably going to go back and get some more of these because they're great for just general decorating i also got two of these these are some running greenery type stems i guess these were originally again 50 percent of the originally 15 dollars. this one is very full i'm not sure where i'm going to end up going with this wreath i figured it may be nice just to have something kind of falling at the bottom i'm not really sure i also have my glue gun ready some extra glue i do have to grab a scissors so let me grab that and we get started it's early here and i need to get started with my coffee but i also wanted to share with you guys this vitamin that i have been taking for a couple of weeks now this is from the company ritual and it has all the essential vitamins for us women formulated with key high quality nutrients it's vegan friendly non-gmo project verified gluten and major allergen free without extras and artificial colorants designed to support foundational health with key nutrients to support brain and bone health blood building and antioxidant support no matter how balanced your diet is, it is hard to get some of the nutrients we need just from food. Essentials for Women was designed to help fill some of those nutrient gaps with eight key ingredients with just two capsules. I love the delayed release capsule design. It slowly dissolves in the small intestine, which is a great place to absorb nutrients. It's gentle on the stomach, so you can take it with or without food. For me, remembering to take my vitamins was always a challenge, so I take it first in the morning with my coffee and that way I don't forget. When I was doing my research, I discovered that Ritual goes above and beyond the industry standards. In fact, they go through rigorous 
certifications and test every batch for allergens, microbes, and even heavy metals. I've put a link in the description below, so use my code and get 25% off your first order. If you don't like Ritual in the first 30 days, you can get your money back, no questions asked. I'm starting here with the ferns. I'm just gonna take it apart and use them for my first layer. One thing I had to be mindful about was keeping them all going in the same direction. Once I had that first layer down, I started adding all the other stems I had in my stash, making sure to cut them into shorter pieces. Using this particular wreath was definitely so easy with all those little crevices to stick them into. For this next project, I'm going to attempt to do decoupage on this bowl. This is also my first time doing this. I got this bowl at the thrift store. Actually, I got it for that paper mache project I shared with you before. Of course, I didn't end up using it, so I have had this for some time. This little vase here was my inspiration. I love that vintage floral style. Now, I wanted to go as far as recreating that aged looking rim at the top there, but spoiler alert, I didn't. Maybe I will attempt that part later. I started looking at napkins with floral designs but couldn't find anything I liked. I wanted something that was also neutral so I can use it not just now in the spring but maybe even later in the fall just by switching out the florals. I found this tissue paper on Amazon and totally fell in love with it. It not only had florals but butterflies and things. It is so pretty. The only other thing you need beside this is some Mod Podge and I'm using a foam brush to apply it. I initially spray painted the bowl with some leftover white paint I had on hand. It wasn't enough to put another coat but I figured it would be okay. But as I held the paper to it, I realized you can see through to those darker areas and I didn't want to chance that happening. So I went ahead and painted it again with some regular white paint. This bowl is a bit curved, so instead of using the paper as it was, I decided on cutting it into smaller pieces. That way I can manipulate those curves and corners. I just applied a thin layer of Mod Podge in small sections and slowly laid it out, followed by another thin layer of Mod Podge over the top of it.
I shared with you about a month ago a powder makeover I did for some friends. Well, this antique cabinet was left behind by the previous owners. What's really cool is they also left a little note stating it's from the early 20th century. My friends had zero interest in keeping it, so I brought it home, also not really knowing where I would use it. I just knew I didn't want to change it up too much, but keep it as original as possible. So for this project, I'm just going to strip the varnish or that coating that's on it. I'm not going to sand it or anything. I'm hoping to achieve or bear into showing off the age of this piece. This is my go-to for removing top coats like this. It's Minwax Furniture Refinisher. You basically scrub it with some steel wool and wipe it off with an old towel. I didn't bother stripping the inside, just cleaned everything up really well with a 50-50 mix of water and vinegar and left it out in the sun to completely dry out. I plan on installing this in my guest bathroom, but I have to move some things around before I can do that. I love the way this turned out and of course the convenience of the extra storage, but I am playing with the idea of possibly bleaching it. I do love a medium brown like it is here, but I'm thinking maybe bleaching it may lean into giving it an older look i don't know let me know what you think in the comments i would love to get your feedback i already had an anchored screw here over the vanity in our guest bedroom so i'm putting it here temporarily just so i can show you how i plan on using it i got these brass hooks on amazon these are great for hanging towels or anything i hope these ideas inspire you to get going with your spring decorating thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next one